the spirit has to become holy. And then he will connect us to our Swamini. Yes, because always we hear this also from Raghunath Das Goswami. Yeah. That uh, it is a mental religion. So it means that yeah. the Raka Nuga Bhakti is very much dependent that our mind becomes a very loving brother on the way that also uh, takes our, you know, desires of the soul into practice and is good uh, in uh, like cooperation. Otherwise, we can uh, sit there with the mala in the hand, but the mind has his own story. Right? Yes, yes. And brings us away from our goal. But if it is holy, the mm. Holy Spirit, it connects us. And what is also meaning of Holy Spirit means that there is some understanding that we are not the body. And this understanding also comes from the mind. It's a gift. If we really understand that we are not the body, then automatically he will connect us to our goal. So it has to be a Holy Spirit, Holy Mind. Then he will help us very much and he become a brother, a more than a brother. He become like our Gurudev. He become, uh, uh, he is very helpful and guide us to our goal. So then, God becomes father, and in our case, our Swamini. Then mind is very helpful, and he becomes holy. So this is from the Eastern time, inspired. inspired. And uh, so we can continue in this week uh, and uh, meditate on this how to grow as even as a Christian in this, uh, what is an eternal truth. It's not a temporary thing. We can see it is in the Christianity and it is in the Vedas. So it's eternal truth. Truth, yes. It's universal truth. It's universal love behind that. And so Thakur Mahashai, our Naratam Das Thakur says, Oh, brother mind, and until now I told you all about loving devotion and the principles of the means and the goal, how to attain it, how to go in this goal, how to live in this goal, how to feel in this goal. That's why he addresses his mind as a brother. Because the brothers and sisters, you know, when we grow up in one family, we have the same uh, subjects. We have, uh, if, if someone is suffering, then we also suffer. If someone is happy, we are also happy. So like this, he wants to make his mind a friend. And he's teaching, Baba says, he's teaching the sadhakas of the world that each sadhaka must similarly engage the mind in loving practice by making it clear that it will share his happiness and distress. For the mind, which is the king of the senses, is the greatest assistant in bhajan sadhana. So mind, not let us suffer. Let's be happy together. Come along. <laughs> Please come along. So, and then he's talking and explaining how, brother mind, I have told you all the principles in a very simple manner. Now, please give up all other desires. Give up your fruitive habits in the material world which block the devotional life. And Baba says that the bad habits that stick into the human mind, they come often also from uh, past impressions, past births. And they, awaking, they are awakening in us and uh, 
And then sometimes it can happen that we use, you know, we are becoming used to doing these things again and again. Like, for example, the most uh, known uh, version of bad habits is a negative thinking, right? Because I also know very much how it is to see the things in the positive way or in the negative way. And so Naratom Dastaku says, the only way how to get out of it, actually, out of these bad habits is to get the mercy of Shiguru. That is to take shelter of the path of uh, bhajan, meditation, mahamantra, our diksha mantras, whatever has been gifted by Gurudev. And he says, Shri Guru Prasade Bhai E Sap Bhajana Pai. Oh brother, by the grace of Shri Guru, you can attain this bhajan. So we have always heard now the Guru is not the goal, but the Guru is guiding us, showing us the way to the goal. Oh brother, mind. By the grace of Shri Guru, the human being can give up wicked desires and attain the good fortune of taking shelter of the path of pure bhajan. So what is the meaning of pure bhajan? Pure bhajan means what Rupa Goswami says, it it is pure when all my self-desires are out of there. It's the desire to make Swamini satisfied. And my desire to make Swamini satisfied will reflect in the happiness of Shri Guru. <coughs> because Shri Guru Dev is also and foremost the Dasi of Srimati Radhika that is guiding me to her service. That's why he says, it's Shri Guru Prasade Bhai. My dear brother, mind, understand that we need the prasad, the remnants of Shri Guru's realizations and services and mercy of his Guru. Mercy from the Guru of the Guru of the Guru. That is called the Parampara, the Disciplic succession, our whole Parivar spiritual family. When we get this connection with Sri Guru, then we want to reach the goal to have the mercy of Nityananda, of Gauranga, of Radha and Mohan. But before we can, you know, it's not that we jump, we go through our Gurudev and we. We have also the greatest respect and the greatest um, appreciation and honor for his Gurudev and their Gurudevs. And we know in our line, there are many, many uh, wise and exalted ladies who come in the line of Janava Ma and who were giving all this treasure of bhajan to their families and to their children. So we are. So lucky that we have connected our hearts to our Shiguru and we are in the process of, of going deeper and deeper and deeper and begging uh, some drops of mercy so that my heart and my mind become one in the desire to go deeper and deeper in spiritual life. Actually, what is the meaning of this taking shelter of the Guru? He is the one who connect us and show us the way to pacify our mind to make him friend. He can do this. He is, he is showing the way how to handle with this mind. We don't know this actually because we are in the illusion. And to come out of this illusion of this false ego, we need the guru who is checking our false ego and who is taking care that we find the right way out of this. And then 
the, he will help us to make the mind a friend. And then that moment, mind becomes our friend. We understand that we are not this body. And we are an eternal soul. And from this point of view, we can start with our spiritual life. And that means in the moment we are identified with our eternal body, then bhajan starts, real bhajan. We know who we are and we know to whom we serve. Then every, everything becomes in a natural way uh, uh, perfect. Right? <laughs> Really right. It's like this, no? I hope so. <laughs> no, it is. So, and for for this to to understand what is the meaning of a holy mind, holy spirit, for that we need our Gurudev, that he give us this view of of ourselves, and then self realization comes. Self realization means to know who I am. I'm not this body, I'm a soul, but at the same time, I have a spiritual body. An to eternal, eternal self. And yeah. Eternal. And then bhajan starts. When I do bhajan with this eternal body, to my Ishtadev, this is meaning of real bhajan. Everything comes automatically. And then our, our mind is our friend. He is very, very useful. This is what we're looking for. And this is what we're searching in our Gurudev's place, that he makes this happen, that we understand ourselves. Jai Shri Dadi. <laughs> Anybody who would like to add of their realizations, please enlighten us. Gauravani? You said realizations. I don't have anyone, so I cannot speak. But I know you have many strong desires. <laughs> I mean, what... Gaurasundara said actually it's the right thing and Gurudev is actually connecting us also with a very important point, a very important aspect with Guru Tattva. And Guru Tattva is in the end carrying us in the right way if there is a person on the outside or not, it is not interesting in this moment. It's, it doesn't make any uh, difference. So even if you live far, far away from a Gurudev, which, because in traditional way, you actually were living with the Gurudev. So nowadays, this is not so easy because there are very less of these persons who can give you this realization. And then maybe they are living thousands or ten thousands of kilometers far away. But the Gurudev is actually making a connection. So you're always online. And Nitai, in his wonderful form, is actually taking care of us then. So, Gurudev is invoking this connection. And then you are always guided. And if you just remember Nitai and pray to his lotus feet, then actually so much wonderful things are happening. Let's say Gurudev said, say something about this or that, but you don't know what to say. You just start and you pray to Nitai. And in the end, you're just hearing what is coming out of your mouth. You don't 
you cannot understand how it's coming out of my mouth. How it's going on here. Wonderful things are happening. How I could read the mind of a person who didn't want it to ask, but the question was on the mind. And I was speaking about this and this person comes afterwards and says, Oh, thank you very much. This question was so much on my mind. and But I could not say it openly. So such wonderful things actually are happening with the help of Nittai all the time. So I think this is a very wonderful aspect. If we consciously get in contact with Nityananda, because Nityananda, he is always in Ananda. That means Ananda is there where Radha and Krishna come together. So he is bringing us always all these aspects of love and he connects us easily. Yeah, this was just one aspect was on my mind actually. Yes, the uh, mercy of Nityananda is so unlimited and so um, in, you know amazing to watch. And like you said, uh, the speaking of of the glories of Nityananda is unlimited. Even Nityananda Ananda Shesh himself cannot find the limits of the glories of his own existence or of Radha and Mohan's love and service. So it's like the divine trying to describe the divine mercy principle is even at, at a loss to find, you know, an end to that because it is never ending grace. And I love Naratom Dostaku's songs because they are all about this unlimited grace and all his life is about that unlimited grace. Because, you know, I was reflecting this morning, how is it possible that someone who became the full container of the mercy of Nitai and Gora, he himself is already rolling in, in this Prema Bhakti you know, before he got the mercy and after he got the mercy, he's even rolling more. And it seems that the the limit of the mercy is is not existing. Because I always observe my material, you know, oriented mind when it tries to understand the principle of mercy, it's something to get and then you got it or something, you know, it's, it's, it's like a principle that is a little bit uh, tricky because the mind or the material concept of, of getting something is like, I get it and then I got it. But it is not like that. We can see in the lives of the saints and of the, all the uh, associates of also Mahaprabhu, like Naratam, he was so much suffering because he could not take birth at the same time when Goranga and Nitai was on this planet. They had left the planet before his birth. So when he was born, he was already starting, you know, to hear about them from all the people in his village because they were all bhaktas of Goranga and Nityananda. And he was so much in separation, so much crying already as a child that uh, he had dreams and visions where Nityananda said, go to this river and then I will give you the mercy of Prema that Gauranga told me to keep and store there for you. So even when he went there and he got the so-called mercy, it didn't stop. He was still going on, always crying and begging for more mercy. That's why he went to Vrindavan that's why he was learning from uh, uh, his Gurudev, Lokanath Swami. And it's like my mind at this moment is very difficult to grasp that although he was already bathing in the Prem of Gornitai, he was like kind of becoming an embodiment of Prem. 
But what he does, he goes to his guru's hut, Lokanath Goswami, and he is uh, brooming uh, his toilet and he is crying. He's keeping the broom in his hand and crying to the broom, oh, please, my Gurudev, give me your mercy. It's like very amazing what is happening to a soul who already gotten the mercy with what we think it is the highest, the topmost mercy that anyone can get. But this person is becoming more and more desperate to receive the mercy because they think, I have no mercy, obviously. <laughs> it's already like a very uh, miracle. I want to read about this. Previously, Mahaprabhu had told Srila Lokanath Goswami in a dream that after a while, a prince will come named Sri Naratam, and he will become your disciple. To attain the special mercy of Sri Padlokanath Sri Naratam, rendered one service to him at the end of the night. So what is the end of the night? It's the dawn, right? It's like the Brahma Muhuta hours, maybe four or five, when 5.30, when the light is coming of the sun. So with the broom, Sri Naratam would sweep the place where Sri Lokanath Prabhu went to evacuate. Not only that, after that he would embrace the broom, and lovingly weep, Ha Prabhu Lokanath, Kripa Koro. Oh, my, my dear Prabhu Lokanath, give me your mercy. This is amazing, isn't it? The mercy flow is not, is not ending at one point. Not when I get my Harinam or when I get my Diksha or when I get my Swarup initiation. It is an ongoing desire to, to have more and more uh, uh, humility and, and service possibilities. And it's, it's natural because Prema, as we have heard many times, the symptom of Prema is that this person, this soul is so naturally feeling very insignificant. And I guess that is the secret why more and more mercy can flow. Oh, my master Lokanath, be merciful to me. Before Sri Lokanath went outside, Sri Naratam had completed his work of cleaning the place and had hidden the broom. He was not doing it, showing off, you know, look, Gurudev, I'm brooming. <laughs> like me, <laughs> I'm always in this tendency, look, Gurudev, look what I do, ah, look at me. Ah. <laughs> he was hiding the broom, hidingly doing his service, wondering who was rendering such menial service at the end of the night and considering it a great... So, yeah, we heard that uh, Naratam Das da Tako, he did his service secretly, and then his guru was watching him. He was thinking, who is this? I am doing offense by accepting service from a bridge Basi like that. The guru was also very much humble and thinking, this cannot happen, this I cannot allow. So he was watching and saw from a distance that Naratam cleaned his place. Standing silently behind Naratam, Prabhu Lokanath saw how Naratam embraced the broom to his chest and anxiously was crying. Then Sri Naratam saw Prabhu Lokanath and offered his obeisances in front of him. Due to this service and this humble service of Naratam, the heart of Lokanath melted. He told him to take a bath in the Yamuna and to come to him. 
On Gurudev's order, Naratam took a bath in the Yamuna and Shilokana took Naratam inside a grove, a cave, to give him initiation. And the Shikosha Kishore Gopal Mantra on the full moon day of the month of Shravan in August. Then he told Naratam to inform Sri Jiva Goswami of the same. Jiva Goswami was also like a very big uh, teacher of, of many disciples at that time who came after Nityananda and Gauranga Mahaprabhu and even also after Rupa Goswami and Raghunath Das Goswami because Jiva Goswami was the youngest of the Goswamis. So they all were very happy to hear that uh, Naratam, who had such a strong desire to get the mercy of Lokanath Maharaj, got the mercy. And Lokanath Prabhu then greatly, gradually taught Srila Thakku Mahashai all the ways and the means of Raga Nuga Bhajan. So it's the, it's not only getting mantras, it's also how to to understand fully the depths of the personalities who are connected with the mantras. What is the deep understanding of uh, all the different, different words and how can I feel connected and how can I become connected? That is all the means and how can I practice it in my daily life? How can I do more service? What service would you, Gurudev, like me to do? I don't want to do what I like to do. I would like to do what you want me, where you feel I can become useful for Radha and Mohan for Nita and Goranga services. Devotion to God or Bhajan can never reach perfection without the grace or satisfaction of Sri Guru. This is the undisputed teaching of all the scriptures and all the great saints. And we know this beautiful song of Naratam Dastako, which we sing in front of our Guru Samadhi, in our Guru Kanj, in front of all pujas and all ceremonies. They start with the prayers to Sri Guru. Sri Guru Charana Padma, Evala Bhakati Satma the grace of the Guru, the lotus feet service of my Shri Guru is the reason and the cause of all that Bhakti can give to me and that I would like to learn. And here we hear what is uh, the main point in this verse is not only the grace to, to do service, but especially also it is the way to destroy all evil desires. And evil desire means the desires that will keep me away from surrender, the desires that will keep me away from going in depth in my bhakti. These are considered evil or counterproductive. So that is a very important point in my life. I know I once met, met one very nice devotee. He's still living here with his family in Goloka Dam community. And he was very much also having desires that were making a problem in his life. And he said to me, oh, you know, Suniti, I am so afraid I cannot even ask for initiation because my desires my, my low habits are keeping me down and I feel I am very unqualified. I said, yeah, this is true for all of us. Actually, the mind and the senses, they have so many bad habits. But have you seen it from this perspective? When you get connected to Shiguru with all your heart, on all your soul, that means that by this grace, it will gradually, slowly, it will diminish. 
And just see, he's such a lovely soul today. He's doing so many nice services. And he was so afraid that he could not, you know, conquer all his evil uh, habits. He was feeling like trapped in them. And we know also from ourselves how we have our personal traps and hang-ups. But by the mercy of Nityananda, everything is possible. We have also felt it. And we can also help others feel it and become positive and become, you know, very uh, happy and lucky to also take shelter of Shiguru and uh, see the miracles that happen in, in our lives. I have seen many miracles in my life. Yeah. So good, if I have one question now, if you may allow me to, to ask you in this text, there comes now the level when Prema Bhakti is coming by the grace of Sri Guru. And he says, Baba says, by the grace of Sri Guru, the Sadaka attains Prema Bhakti and takes birth with his own mentally conceived Manjari body from the womb of a Braja Gopi. Mentally so I, conceived. Yes. If mentally conceived means I got the mercy from my Gurudev about my Sarup, but yes. mentally I no conceive it. I never try mentally to accept that. Gurudev give me mercy, we think is only one paper. But this paper is now, if this is the Radha Rani want to mark us, we don't believe that. The, when we have to feel that Radha Rani give this to Gurudev and Gurudev want to be a mark med servant, so he said to make it in practice, mentally conceive this. Is not you have to conceive in your own. You have to conceive in mentally by meditation. So it should be intense. The lady also when conceived the baby, at that moment she is very much fit to receive that mercy from the his partner. Then it conceived. When the mind is here and there and the eyes are not there, this she not can conceive the baby. So wow. similarly, we cannot conceive mentally my sarup if we are not my mind is serious and desires for that. So mentally I have to conceive that. And that way this my spiritual body is a divine body. When the ladies conceive the baby in the womb, is not divine. Is a, is a, it has to go on with the ages and the childhood and then young age and then old age. Is moving because this is the material body is there and materially we conceive it, but a spiritual conceive is a divine conceive. And that means we cannot conceive without fixing my seriously mind there. And we can only conceive when my mind is totally fixed to receive that. Right? Wow, yeah, thank you, Gurudev. That is a very um Good instruction because the mind is, is has the nature to be flickering and chanchala to be you know. And going. I don't want to conceive it. Yeah, but that is the necessity. If we want to grow to our spiritual identities, it has to be 
like a like a like a lady who wants to be a mother or any you know any desire that is very it's strong like in a living a mother and you are undead, you want to conceive the baby how the mind is fixed for that yes you see babies everywhere i heard i heard <laughs> so that way we have to conceive intensely that desire to mentally conceive so we no need to take other birth janam devo what is mentally conceiving body it is but, a birth yes it's a birth but and this is not a, again birth this is in this life conceiving that body initiate initiate by my gurudev by the grace of radha rani that body we have to conceive that is a spiritual conceiving so even for spiritual conception we need the the brotherhood and the you know uh, how do you say we need the good cooperation with the mind gurudev because the mind is like the womb isn't it right and this mind will help us to conceive my speech of god wow Thank you, Thank you Gurudev. So nice. And here we have now. Maybe we have some time also. If anybody has a question to that, please ask. If not, I will just continue with one other prayer of King Biram Bira of Vishnupur. you know that the goswami's literature especially rupa goswami's leaf written nectar instructions about raganuga bhakti his whole bhakti rasamrita sindhu all the nectar that came out of their you know spiritual existence realized manjari bath they were once transported to bengal and there was a king who was very greedy and uh, in the in the beginning of the of the prema bhakti chandrika it is explained that his nature and mentality was that of a bandit he was a a thief he liked to steal and he likes to steal so much that he had astrologers in his kingdom who would always look into the stars and they look in the stars and they would tell this king Oh we see that a big treasure has reached your kingdom. And he said, "Oh, thank you very much. I will send my my bandits, my kingly bandits group." And they stole the big bullock cart of Shrinivasacharya Narottam Das Thakur. And who else was it? Uh, uh Shyamananda. They were the three messengers and protectors of the books they wanted to bring them and you know at that time they had only bullock carts with the cows or the horses in front anyway so the bandits of the king they stole that big chariot of treasure of love of prema bhakti of raga nuga literature for the whole future generation for us and that king he he became a uh, a disciple of shrinivas acharya later on and he was writing about his realizations about his own grace of shri guru realizations so king birambira of vishnupur attained the shelter of shrinivas acharya prabhu and after receiving his grace he sings as follows Prabhu Mora Shrinivas 
por aí le maneira tua pade que boli boara a ti no vixaya que tal bora um quilaguito me tal puxa ele raja ahankada I think it is Bengali. Is it Gurudev? Bengali. Try. Thank you. I saw your lips. I can read your lips now. <laughs> Thank you. My master Srinivas, what more can I tell to your feet? You fulfilled the desires of my mind. I was a worm in the stool of sensuality. And I took that stool to be very sweet. You, however, removed my false royal pride. Kodito garalapan sebelo dahinava dekaila amekarada. I used to drink poison, but now left has become right, and you showed me a stream of nectar. Pibo pibo kore ma sablage uchata emati tomara vyavahara. You made my mind eager by saying, "Drink, drink," such. Was your behavior? Am I right? So we we hear always good if we drink. We want. We are used to drink the wine, and then we want to drink the divine. Then, when the soul becomes ready, the soul wants to drink divine, the divine nectar, and then drinking the divine nectar, the soul will finally also. See how Radha and Mohan are drinking their honey wine, and that is a what the king has told. I was also addicted to drinking wine, but you gave my mind the nectar and the habit of drinking divine. Radha pada sudarashi se pade kori ladasi. Gora pade bandi di la chita. You gave me the position of Radha's foot maid servant, which is like an ocean of nectar. You bound my heart to the feet of Lord Gora, and you showed me the bower cottage with the associates of Sri Radhika, and taught me. Their loving customs. See again, we have that the Sri Guru is teaching the loving customs. Because even when the baby is born, the baby needs a mother to teach everything, right? <laughs> so when we are the small babies of our Shrimati Radhika, and we are, you know. We need also our Guru Manjari, the good guide and help to continue our services and develop our real identity more and more. I will run to the bank of the Yamuna, where Radha and Krishna are blissfully enjoying, along with their friends. Kalindira kule yai, saki sange dao yadai, rai kano vihara yesuke. He vira hapvira chi, raja pura sada deya, yaha hali ure lakke lakke. Within his heart, this King Virambira 
always meditates on Vrindavan, where hundreds of thousands of bumblebees are flying. So that is the beautiful prayer of King Virambira, who was in his heart, he had a mentality of a bandit. He had already the kingdom, he had treasures, but he wanted more and more because his soul was longing for divine nectar. Back, borrow or steal. He understood <laughs> this right. So, that was the point. Yes, he was stealing the Goswami's literatures, Gurudev, and he became also blessed. <laughs> it works. <laughs> mm. Dai, yes, Dayanidi. So we, we heard today, uh, also from Gurudev, that uh, for spiritual conception is necessary Gurudev, presence of Gurudev. So it means that he's even more than, than compass or navigator. And uh, also uh, we heard today that even if Narutam Das Thakur take full mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu no, in the Padmava Padmavati River, still he was uh, so much greedy for the mercy of Lokanat Goswami. So this importance of spiritual master in the same time, even if he, Gurudev often say that he's not the goal, he's navigator. This is very amazing also. If you can say something more about that, or Gurudev, if Gurudev can say something. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. <laughs> see, we still prema, but how to use the prema? I need navigator. Because I think that prema to use in material relation <laughs> and physical identification. That is my goal of life. And that way we start making the relation in false ego with my material and sense identity. Because the false ego say, this is the truth. But the navigator job is this, the truth to show, what is your truth? This is the false and this is the truth. The soul is the truth and soul sarup is the truth. Other thing is a false, what you are identifying from the false ego. Without mercy of Guru navigation, my mind cannot accept that. We want to move easily to receive from my senses and from my body all activities what is not a prema. That is different name. But we say, no, this is the prema. And then we make the garbage after some time. When my desire is not fulfilled, or we become plus and minus. Prema not make plus and minus. It's only plus and plus and plus. And it can only happen when, by the grace of Guru Kripa, we got the our conceived from the mind, my spiritual body, to the soul. Conceive, we have to conceive my spiritual body. And when I can conceive, when my mind is not jumping like a monkey mind, then we can conceive it. When we are in monkey mind, and we want to conceive the material life, material body, baby, we cannot conceive. Because my monkey mind not made to conceive. How my spiritual body I can conceive with the monkey mind? 
Manche meinen, wenn es nach fix <laughs> and desire, monkey has a desire to, to anything get from other, is stealing from other to eat it and living like a renounced life. This is monkey mind, showing that I am very renounced person, but desires are too much. So we, if I want to conceive, we have to come out from the monkey mind, my spiritual identification. That to live without mercy, because Radharani cannot give direct to me. It comes through the Gurudev and it goes through Gurudev because why in me, via media she select because now you take care of these guys. I cannot take care. Because they are practicing from monkey monkey mind to conceive help. This is your job. So we need one person, leader, to take care of them in her dasi, Radhika dasi. Guru means Radhika Dasi is good. If he is not Guru, Radhika Dasi, love follower, he is not a good. Love followers who follow the love and living in the practice of love, this means this is the Krishna Tattva. Say it so okay. Krishna Tattvaita Sai Guru means the Guru cannot be a without understanding Krishna Tattva. And Krishna Tattva means my behavior has to change always in loving. It's spiritual loving, not sense loving. And not that identifying all the sense material body identification. All should be in the service. Right? Hi, very nice, Gurudev. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, navigator cannot be our goal. Navigator means to guide for the goal. Mm. The moment I do mistake that navigator is my goal, then I have no goal. And that is my avas philosophy. That guru is the goal, crazy. The guru cannot fix his goal, how he can teach to me my goal. And if he is not Radha Dasi, he cannot be a guru. Why the Prabhupada and other Mahajan is taking? It should be bona fide. What is meaning of bona fide? Radha Das. Who is in practice of Radha Das? And they are bona fide. Right, why? We are in the center of our Guru, who is not in the center of his Guru, he is also not in the How anyone can be Guru when the guru, his Guru is living and is receiving the guidelines from him? Nobody can be a say Guru 
when he say guru or he is guru dev meditation not that he start meditating himself that he is a guru <laughs> he is a man not born of her he is block the evil block understand hmm <laughs> he again come to back to material identity is all divine chakshu naam ke janme janme prabhu se chakshu naam means i have eyes but not a divine vision that divine vision you give me not to deviate me and they began in the prakashita and you give divine knowledge in my heart navigate me in divine knowledge and every moment you are putting me divine and you are showing me from the divine eyes not with again i come in material life this is one thing always i keep myself one point then at this stage is this when my dip began coming to me <coughs> then coming prem but prem bhakti ja जाबर to always to be in your navigation the at any moment if i go out from your navigation i will be monkey man nobody can help to anyone so i like this poem monkey mind so nice <laughs> that where you are in the center of gurudev you are want to open yourself you want to open your vision eyes you want to open your div- divinity inside and you want a prem bhakti life you live always in the umbrella of your guru dai ho gode I do the time over. Oh yes, oh sorry. Thank you, thank you all for coming and listening and thank you Gurudi for blessing us with your sweet words. We take them in your hearts and now come Sundara. You are inspiring. You inspire. I hope yes. Gurudi, I can become your puppet. we can become your puppet <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny today gurudev <laughs> we have to keep going every living day <laughs> this is the chakshudan dero le what is chakshudan to feel in all living being your spiritual they are teaching soul consciousness good 
That is the divine reason to divine. feel parts of Gurudev in every living means is coming Jai. to me. Wow. And when this reason comes in our life, every place my, I can see my Isthadev. Wow. Devigan Hede Prakash is a second line. Means when the divine vision will come, they began. Divine knowledge will anyone talk material words, and for me, it is spiritual. It's instruction. <laughs> wow. Even song, feel me song, but this is for me, it is a spiritual words. Yeah. That is because all my ignorance is vanished, my all ignorance is vanished because I follow in the loving and I see everywhere to get the shame. When I see, I see my Guru there. Mercy, I because I'm in umbrella of him and he guides me. This is the home, this is Sham, right? Where you see Shama and Sham is there. And all is the pastime of both of them. Sure. Thank you, guys. Now you. You cannot stop, Gurudev. We cannot stop. Yeah, oh, my Sundara is not happy with us. He has a beautiful <laughs> program for us. I'm always happy with you, Gurudev, and your disciples. <laughs> we are happy when your program starts. <laughs> But I want one thing from you. One day you make the drum with the singing and teaching of me. I want that you send me again. I like in the Christian class what I hearing. It was a surprise to me how I am doing that. So I want to listen what I said there. This is Guru Krishna. This was this Saturday, Guru Dev? No, oh, no. Last two, three weeks. Yeah, it was in okay. the Kirtan program. It was one of the, the, the Kirtans from Tarni. Next mm -hmm. they were speaking inside the Kirtan. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's very... Uh, that was Guru that was sharing in the kirtan was from one recording when he was in Croatia. Yes, I remember. That's really amazing. I cannot That's share it, it uh, today, but uh, I I searching it uh, for it and uh, I try to share next week. Yeah, oh, your best. You start your program. Good. So good. Now we, we have to go out here. <laughs>